Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard and welcome to LifeSpot.com. And today I want to talk about how our DNA changes or is damaged over time as we age and what we can do about it. You know, our DNA is constantly being impacted by stress, by environmental stress, pollutants, toxins, air pollution, water pollution, even behavioral stress, emotional stress, and nutrition poor nutrition all impact our DNA and can damage the DNA and is linked to the aging process. Now studies show, a recent study in the journal Aging with over 13,000 people, they actually measured uh, how the DNA changes over time with age and they found that those measurements are a predictor of lifespan. So they're actually predicting how long you live based on the amount of DNA changes you have. Now these DNA changes are somewhat preventable. But in many cases, they're not. I mean, if we're talking about up to 20% of the DNA is being altered or changed as a result of the aging process, that's hundreds of thousands of DNA changes. But usually the body's got a plan for it. It actually recovers and does the repair right on the spot. But the damaged cells go through a process of time death called apoptosis. But if they don't die completely, they create these senescent cells, which are kind of half dead, but they continue to aggravate, irritate, and damage the DNA further and accelerate the aging process, which is really important. So these changes in the DNA from stress, environmental chemical stress, they are passed down, which is the scary part, to, through our genetic code to our offspring, to our children. And that's really important. And this is the Ayurvedic understanding of this, something called samskaras, stressors that are passed down to the kids is something Ayurveda talked about thousands of years ago. And they did a study where, where, if they, where they fed mice certain foods and if they fed them one kind of food, they got yellow pups. If they fed them a different kind of food, they got black pups. And this research has now been happening with humans that a diet and the nutrition is specifically related to how our, our kids, to the, our offspring, and how our offsprings methylate. Methylation is the process that changes our DNA. That's how it works. So you've all heard of probably methylation, and what that means is that it's the taking, it's the, it's the addition or the subtraction of a methyl group, which is a carbon with three hydrogens, from our DNA strand, right? And that encodes how certain proteins fold and it tells you whether you have blue eyes or brown eyes, whether you should be detoxifying right now. Does it increase your energy, metabolism? Should it make more melatonin for your sleep? Should it make more serotonin for your mood? Should it make more nitric oxide to detox and rebuild and repair you? I mean, pretty much every physiological function has something to do with methylation. And the problem with methylation is it's so nutritionally dependent. The studies show that, that, um, that the, the methylation is the, the nutrition is the key factor in this whole methylation process to make sure you're not under methylating or over methylating. It's sort of like the three little bears has got to be just right. And the key ingredients is getting the right amount of methyl donors. And in the article associated with this video, at the bottom of that article, from the study that I just cited, there's a whole list of all the f nutrients that are methyl donors to make sure you have optimal methylation, methylation and the foods that get, will give you those nutrients. The big ones are something called SAMe. The body has a chemical called SAMe, which is the major methylation donor. That methylation donor is dependent on folate, methylfolate, 5-MTH. And what, what that methyl, but recently, matter of fact, just a couple of days ago, a study showed that, that a deficiency in folate is linked to Alzheimer's disease. Again, another methylation issue. Making sure you get the right amount of methylfolate is critical for optimal methylation. Now, some people have a, about 60% of the population have a genetic mutation called MCHFR, which doesn't allow them to, uh, to utilize or convert and make their own uh, methylfolate. So we have to sometimes give it as a supplement in that case. So the two main ingredients for making sure that you methylate properly and help cope with the degenerative impact of DNA changing with stress and aging is B12, which is a major methyl donor, and methylfolate. And that's something you should always look for, a B12 that has methylfolate in it. Those should always go together. 
Um, B12 is a unique uh, uh, vitamin, about 40% of the population have a deficiency in B12, so it's super, super common, and so you need both the B12 and the methylfolate. People who are B12 deficient are usually a little bit on the older side. They usually have a digestive issue of any kind, and they may be on certain types of medication. Studies show that B12 deficiencies can literally make the brain volume shrink a little bit. And the cool thing is that when people got the B12, their brain got big again and it's linked to cognitive function, memory, focus, and a host of concerns, all linked to be able to methylate, detoxify, drive energy, reproduce more healthy DNA, all depends on this little process of adding or taking away a methyl group from your DNA strand. Really crazy simple, but incredibly profound, and something that a lot of people don't realize. So please get your B12 levels checked, and make sure you're getting optimal amounts of folate, not folic acid, but folate. And the best folate is called methyl folate. You wanna make sure you're getting plenty of that in your diet. And please check out the article associated with this video, because at the bottom of that, I mean, all the science is there for this article, but also at the bottom is the food list of all the nutrients that are methyl donors that we all need to have in our, in our diet uh, and the foods that deliver those nutrients. So please check that out at lifespa.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.